We, the jury, hereby find the defendant with respect to count one, malice murder, Curtis Blue, guilty. Count two, malice murder, Christopher James Monica, guilty. Count three, felony murder during escape, Curtis Blue, guilty. Count four, felony murder during escape, Christopher James Monica, guilty. Count five, escape, guilty. Count six, hijacking a motor vehicle, guilty. Guilty on all charges. That's the verdict for Donnie Rowe after the jury deliberated today for a little more than four hours. The death penalty trial, which lasted for three full days and part of this morning, wrapped up in the Putnam County Courthouse today. Rowe is one of two Georgia inmates accused in the double murder of those two corrections officers aboard a prison bus in the summer of 2017. Molly Jett is in Eatonton reporting on an emotional day inside the courtroom. Shortly after the defense counsel's first and only witness, both the state and the defense counsel spent about an hour saying their final words to the jury. Thursday started with defense attorney Frank Hogue making a surprise request to call district attorney T. Wright Barksdale to the stand. He has personal knowledge. He's a witness in the case in a, in a small matter. Hogue wanted Barksdale to clarify when he spoke to one of the state's witnesses, inmate Darnell Moore. But ADA Don Baskin said Hogue was just questioning Barksdale's ethics. Just after Barksdale testified, he moved into the closing statement section of the trial. There's no doubt about it. They were in it together. Next came defense attorney Adam Levin, who argued Rowe didn't plan to kill. Donnie Rowe didn't kill. Donnie Rowe didn't intend to kill. Donnie Rowe is not guilty of malice murder. Instead, Lavin says Rowe planned to escape. They say Donnie Rowe aided and abetted Ricky DeBose. Donnie Rowe aided and abetted Ricky DeBose with an escape, not malice murder. Donnie Rowe couldn't have aided and abetted in the murders because he had no knowledge that Ricky DeBose was going to kill anybody. Party to a crime does not equal malice. Judge Brenda Trammell called Barksdale back. The plan was something out of a horror film, but the execution of the plan was tragically flawless. This was a calculated crime that took both of them to complete parties to the crime. Barksdale emphasized it took less than one minute for them to enter the gate, kill, and escape. And he also reenacted part of the killing with Rose belly chains. He hit Christopher Monica with it. You see him. Tee off him. Don't tell me that's not matter. Barksdale finished his last statement to the juror by acknowledging Curtis Ballou and Christopher Monica's family as their family sat in the courtroom. Live in Eatonton, Molly Jett, 13 W MAZ News. All right, thank you, Molly. The trial now moves to the sentencing phase where Roe faces the death penalty. The trial for the other inmate, Ricky DuBose, is scheduled to begin in May of 2022.